Yo, what up, YouTube? This is Works Productions with my first After Effects tutorial. Alright, guys, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to add a muzzle flash from the behind camera angle, like you see right here. Um, it's not directly behind, but you know, it's kind of over the shoulder or under the armpit, kind of. And yeah, it's a little different from doing the muzzle flash from side to side which is usually the muzzle flashes that you see on YouTube besides like good action movies and all that shit but anyways this is what you'll be making okay so if you want to make that just open up your After Effects and you're gonna want to record a video of yourself doing something similar to what I'm about to show you above that but before I show you I switch this the resolution down to quarter because for me for some reason if I have that full my after effects legs like shit and maybe you guys have the same problem if it's like really slow when you move the timeline indicator right there if you switch that to quarter it'll help a little bit so anyways this is what you're gonna be you're gonna want to record yourself doing um, you know, have the camera in the same position, uh, actually similar position as to what I got right here. So you could actually see the gun that you're holding. And you're just going to go bring it up like you just shot. And yeah, maybe do it a couple more times. I do it one more time after. And what I was going to do is you guys see these cans out right here. I was supposed to shoot them off, but I just didn't feel like doing that. So I kind of aimed the other can right there and boom I shoot again okay and then I just shut the camera off and well, actually I don't shut off my sister does but yeah you guys get the whole idea okay so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is go to google.com and search muzzle f actually go to google.com and then go to images and then search muzzle flash from front or muzzle flash straight or if you have Action Essentials 2, you could just go to the Muzzle Flash Straight. Alright? And if you guys don't have Action Essentials, I'll tell you what, it's a lot better than using a Google image picture, but it costs money. <laughs> and here's a little tip, guys. If you guys want for free, uh, just send me a PM message on YouTube, and yeah, I could get you it for free. But the problem is, it's a huge file, and yeah, that's not good. So, if you guys just have the picture, uh, I'll show you what to do, because you're going to have to make the picture uh, a little bit shorter, like two frames long. But anyways, I'm just going to add a muzzle flash by going to Action Essentials. Alright? And I'll just take a random one right yeah right here. Okay. Then after you've added your muzzle flash, you're just gonna drop it above the video clip of you pretending to shoot. Alright, after you've done that, you're gonna take the timeline indicator and you're going to try to find the spot of the video where you're right before you move the gun up. Like right before you just shot so the recoil alright so using the page up and page down key you could go up and down frames and the page up key goes down frames the page down key goes up so oh I think I passed that already um where is it was it right there yep so right there right before I started going up Actually, yeah, right there is good. And you're going to take the muzzle flash and you're going to drag the beginning of the muzzle flash right where the timeline indicator is now. And you're going to drag the muzzle flash. Make sure this is clicked on the top layer, which is the muzzle flash, so you can move it around. And you're going to move it right over your hand slash gun, kind of like that. And if, let's say, you guys have a photo. 
you know, you got off Google Images, the muzzle flash, you're just going to take this and drag it to about two frames long, all right? But since it's on action, for me, it's on action essentials, it kind of just only lasts two frames and then it goes to smoke, which makes it seem a little more realistic, all right? So after you've added that, you're going to go over here to this tool. This is the masking tool or the pen tool. And you're going to actually, before you do that, you're going to want to go to make sure the muzzle flash is click and you're going to want to hit press T and this opacity will pop up and drag it to zero zero percent now then go to the pen tool slash mask tool up here and you're going to want to make sure this is not checked and yeah and you're just going to zoom in using the wheel on your mouse and you're going to draw out your hand if you guys don't know what I mean, this is all I mean. Just gonna do a quick little mask around your arm slash hand, and you're gonna want to make sure you get the gun in there like this, okay? And yeah, you're just gonna bring it around. You guys don't have to worry about doing the whole body. I usually just stop it and go around the shoulder like this, and bring it back down, and there you go. And then you could just click this little click this little arrow right here so there's no like little mess right there so that pops out I mean goes away and now actually sorry about that guys go back to the arrow and go to the opacity again which you guys just put to zero and you're gonna drag that all the way to 100 and as you can see you got this little muzzle flash but it looks like shit and you can't see the gun so to change that you're just gonna click on masks right here and then you're going to go to switch this where it says add and you're gonna switch it to subtract so you got something that looks like this okay and to give it a little more of a realistic uh, look you can change the feather type which is the blur around it so it's not so edgy by going to mask one this low arrow and switching the mask feather to as much as you want but be careful the more you do it the faker will look and the less you do it the faker will look so you gotta find that perfect amount so that's good enough I think alright so after you've done that you're going to go to layer new solid and you're gonna click right here and you're just gonna find a yellow alright and then you're gonna hit OK at first you're not gonna be able to see anything because the whole screen's gonna be filled up of the yellow layer that you just put in the, put into the After Effects but to switch that make sure you clicked on yellow solid and just hit O again I mean sorry T for opacity. Alright guys, T for opacity, not O T. Sorry about that. And you're just gonna drag that down to uh oh, where my other clip go. Alright, there it is. But you're gonna drag that down to uh twenty or eighteen, twenty, nineteen. Around there, you know, around the twenties and you're just going to go back to the mask tool or the pen tool right here and you're going to kind of put a little mask something like this around your face and what this is going to be creating is the you know like the light that the gun will give off from the muzzle flash so it, you got that brightness on your face the light on your face from the muzzle flash and you're just gonna go around the face and the shoulders like this and then maybe like this little part of your hand and I don't know down here a little bit I guess you now it's really up to you guys how you want to do this alright and don't worry about it being so blocky like you know what I mean? So don't worry about that. We'll fix that in a second. Okay, after you found the spots they want the light from.
from the muzzle flash to show on your body you're just gonna go to masks right here under the yellow solid go to masks and you're gonna see that you have four masks mask one mask two mask three mask four and what you're gonna do to each mask is go to the arrow right here so for me I'll go to mask one click on this arrow and I'm going to switch the feather type and I'm gonna bring that up to about like 30-ish 30 35 alright 35 and you're gonna do the same thing to each mask so bring it up to like 35 ish with the mask feather so oh, right there and I'll go to mask 3 bring it up alright <clears throat> and go to mask 4 and then go to mask feather drag it up to 35 and you got a little something that looks like that but as you guys see when you play your video oh, is when you play your video it's it just stays there it doesn't pop up when they, you have your muzzle flash so to fix that you could just scroll up so you get to this click on this area arrow and you can drag the top layer or the yellow solid right here and drag this part to the part of the muzzle flash so right there and drag it back to the part where the muzzle flash disappears so yeah, it's two frames long so I'm just going to drag it to about there I'm just going to zoom in by clicking on this little guy and just moving it to the right so it zooms in so I can get a uh, it lined up better to the muzzle flash. So right here, just squeeze that in like that. And now when you watch your video, you got something that looks like this. Oh, you got something that looks like this. You got the nice little glow kind of right here. Um, and uh, trying to uh, you know you could change the yellow solid color the transparent. Let's say you want a little darker the lighting from the muzzle flash. You could just press T and put the opacity up to as much as you want. But I'll say not to put it over. 50 because if it's over 50 it looks kind of shitty but that's me personally that's what I think uh, now maybe some people like it but that's just me and I guess 26 see how that looks um, yeah it looks pretty good that uh, looks kind of bad though on the shirt so when you're doing the lighting on the shirt just make sure you bring it back a little farther like this alright guys um, and yeah that's about it so if this is a shitty ass tutorial it's my first one after effects I'm still getting used to after effects and all that I'm still kind of a noob and all that shit but uh, yeah, hopefully this helped you out guys because, you know, I mean, I've seen the muzzle flashes from, you know, on YouTube when they're shooting like side to side. And I don't know, it look, it's kind of boring, so I decided to make this tutorial. And once again, I hope it helped you out. If it didn't, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know, if it didn't, just request another tutorial that you want. And yeah, comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out.